the purpose of your communication is to influence and if the skillful use of questions is one of the best ways to persuade someone to do something you would like them to do, then it is absolutely critical that you become an expert in how to ask great questions. Here's a couple of tips on how to excel in this key area. Hi, I'm Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Let's have a brief chat about the power of emotion. The simple truth lies in the fact that we are much more readily persuaded through emotion compared with our response when presented with a number of facts and facts alone. Read Hard Times by Dickens. In fact, when something out of the blue occurs, we don't stop and think how we feel. We simply react emotionally. And this happens in the blink of an eye. Now to use the power of emotion, you must first understand what it is the person you are communicating with is truly seeking. And tied to this is the emotion that you want to touch upon to lead the person to the desired target. Now here's a simple linguistic way that you can use to help you to do this. So let's look at the feel, felt, found technique. Take a look. I understand how you feel about what happened and I would have felt the same way and I'm sure you have found the best way to overcome this using the approach we have discussed. I understand how you feel about this. A lot of people once felt the same way, but what they found was, and so on. Now another useful tip seems, well, a little unfair, but it does take advantage of the inability of most people to blame themselves when something does go wrong. The natural normal impulse is to find somebody else to point the finger at. It was him. This tendency can be used to help you when you ask questions. Tell them you know they would do it differently before you influence them to follow your suggestions to remedy a situation or to do it differently and better the next time. And rhetorical questions can help in this regard. If there is a magic bullet with questions, it is to always generate a feeling of certainty in the person you are communicating with. Once a person feels a strong sense of certainty, they will follow you. Again, keep in mind the importance of how you ask a question. Mastering the timing using the right tonality is essential. Think about the quality of your questions whether you tend to ask more open or closed questions and start to prepare the questions that you would like to ask and the feelings that you want to generate before you attend a meeting of consequence. Prevention is far better than cure and a lot less expensive. So be well prepared, have a chain of questions, build strong rapport and get the outcome that you want. That completes this part. Thanks for watching. Go to knowyourmind.com and let me know where I can send you something I believe will be of interest and advantage to you. Remember, you have many faces, many skills, many talents, many attributes, and indeed many choices. So why not put them to use? So until we chat again, take care, ask good questions. Cheerio for now.